all I'm going to do is I'm just going to model a real quick vase in Maya uh, just using a cylinder so first thing you need to do is go up to create polygon primitives and then cylinder and click and draw on the grid to make the base and then click and drag to do the height okay so turn that into your shaded view just tap 5 on your keyboard so we're going to use this roughly as the this is going to be the very bottom of our vase and we're going to extrude the rest of the vase up from this so hold down your right click uh, go into face selection and we just want to select all these faces So that's them all selected. Now, if we go to the scale tool, it's over here on the left hand side, or you can tap E. What we're going to do is we're going to scale these out slightly, and this is to start the curve that our vase is going to have. Okay, then we go up to Edit Mesh in your menu bar. First of all, make sure that you have Polygon selected here. Add a mesh and then extrude. So what that does is it takes all the polygons that are sitting there and it just makes a complete copy of them. And you'll notice these little blue dots, the blue cubes all around. That's representing that there's a new polygon put in place there. So once you extrude, handiest thing to do is push W on your keyboard. And we'll move up this selection that we extruded. And then we're going to push E again to uh, sorry, R to scale it. We're going to use this middle cube because that'll scale it equally in both directions. Okay. We're going to go add a mesh, extrude again, and we're just going to continue this. Until we get the rough shape of the vase. And the reason when I extrude, you know, so when I go out of mesh extrude, I have the options to actually move and scale here. The reason I don't use these is you can sometimes click the wrong one by mistake. So you notice that arrow is pretty close to that cube. Now your arrows will move it, your cubes will let you scale it in the direction. So I just get in the habit of going straight into the move tool and it does exactly the same thing. So it's just two ways to do it and it's up to you which one you do yourself. So, I've kind of got the height that I wanted to get now, I'm going to start bringing it in. So, every time I extrude now, I'm just going to scale it in slightly. Now what I want to make is, <clears throat> I want to make a small lip, the vase is going to come in and then it's going to curve up. So that's why I brought it in so quickly here. Now the next few extrusions I do are actually going to be sitting pretty close to each other. So it's a good thing to remember that when you're working with polygon primitives, every curve, every curved line that you'll see on a model, if it's a character or an object, it's all made up of actual straight edges. So to get a smoother curve up here on the side, all I've done is I've just added in 
smaller gaps between them. You'll notice this curve at the side here, it's not half as rounded because I've only got two large polygons making up, whereas here I've got three very close together and it just creates the illusion that something's actually smooth. So that's that lip kind of done, so I can start to use bigger gaps, use bigger increments now. So that's looking okay. Now what I want to do is I want to actually create a hole right in the middle here so you can actually see through into the into the vase. So you'll notice now at the minute if I delete those polygons, that's one way you could do it. Okay, but I want an actual bit of density to this lip here. And the way you do that is if you go add a mesh extrude. It's created that new set of polygons right on top of where we are. Now if we go straight into the scale tool here and scale them in the way, you'll notice our, our new polygons are sitting there. Now if I want this edge to stay exactly where it is, all I do is hit Edit Mesh Extrude and it duplicates the polygons I've selected. And now if I was to move them down, you'll see it actually, it's actually creating this lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that down, scale it in a bit. I'll go edit mesh, extrude again. We'll scale that in a bit. Okay. So we don't need to be as accurate on the inside as we were uh, when we did this outside shell. Edit mesh, we'll go extrude again. What I can do here is I can actually just drag these the whole way down to the bottom. Okay. Move them up slightly. Right. So now you see it's actually hollow on the inside, but it's got a thickness to it. So there's our rough uh, vase that we just made. Remember, it's using polygon primitives. We haven't got too much geometry in here. So it's going to come out slightly edgy on the side. Now what we can do is, if you're happy enough with the way the model is, you go mesh and then smooth. And what that does is smooths out your objects. You can notice the geometry, a lot more of it gets put in place. If we render that out now, it gives you a much smoother shape. Okay, so that's just one way that you can make a vase using polygon primitives. In the next video, I'll show you how you can make a vase using the curve tool and the surfaces.